Hello YouTube, I think that I received the new spinner today, so let's open it up and see. This uh, ER20 nut is feels much larger. It's only stated that uh, one collet would be included, but uh, there is one inside here, uh, five to six millimeters, and there was also one extra here, so three to four millimeters so that was nice I have ordered some um, some ER20 collets but I haven't received them yet so nice to have something to start out with Looks pretty much the same as the the other one that I had. Bit different design uh, down here. I only have a 1.5 kilowatt VFD, but I don't see any issues with uh, running. Uh, a 2.2 kilowatt spindle but we'll see if it works definitely think it was right decision to step up to ER20 feels a bit more rigid so since the previous spindle failed um, and I do not wish to destroy another one I think that it might be best to rebuild the the X and the Z axis to get rid of those uh, nasty vibrations so I didn't plan to make this now. I would um, like to have done this upgrade with the manual mill, but since the manual mill ain't finished yet and I need the CNC to to build the manual mill, I have to do it by hand. So I did have this uh, 20 millimeter thick aluminium laying around so the plan is that uh, this will be the z-axis I will cut this on cut this one uh, off uh, with uh, a rep reprocating saw what is called I think it's called that and uh, then try to drill 
and tap as straight as possible so that uh, these ones will line up so this part here will be placed on top here um, I have no idea how this will go but uh, we'll see I'll do my best Right, so I'll now attempt to drill some some holes. I will start off with this one, and then I will change to to this drill here.
Right, so let's check the 1000 of a millimeter just for fun. So we are at minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. So minus one. So that is clearly okay for what I will be needing on the router. So what's next? Perhaps tightening the screws a bit harder. Okay. So I was a bit sick of uh, not being able to wipe off grandpa's old workbench. So I did bolt this one down to, to the, the old workbench. And this one was just laying around up here um, where my grandfather stores all kinds of stuff. But I uh, have been thinking about mounting it for a couple of weeks, so finally I did it. Feels like a good improvement to be able to, to wipe off and work on a clean, clean surface. So this is where I'm at currently. I drilled and um, tapped some holes for the ball screw. So I did just receive my uh, gauge box, some cheap ones from China, roughly 50 bucks. And I'm thinking about uh, perhaps being able to use the gauge box uh, kind of like this, and then pushing the uh, ball screw against the rail here. So let's see if I can get them to stick right so I managed to find combination that seems to work okay so 1.4 millimeters plus 1.2 millimeters plus 6 millimeters so that would be 8.6 millimeters. So this one fits here, but it won't fit here. It will fit here, but it won't fit here. So the plan is to loosen the screws a bit and then push it in against the gauge block, tighten it, and then check with the gauge block on the other side so let's do that so this is the first time I'm using gauge blocks but seems to my strategy seems to work it's a very tight fit right so using the gauge block went fine I at the beginning I measured up here but uh, since there uh, is some distance between here and there could be an angle I decided to measure down here instead so hopefully the ball screw is right in the center uh, so that if this one is in the center the ball screw is in the center next thing to do now is to figure out how to mount this piece of aluminium on top of here as well as the spindle holders onto here and it's this one here might be a bit tricky. We have some uh, uh, some uh, sticking up here. Right, so I need to make a small pocket uh, for this one here, about five millimeters deep. So the easiest way, I think, it's to to mount the new spindle and. Um, simply make the holes for the rail blocks uh, as well as this five millimeter deep pocket uh, on the router so since the spindle wasn't grounded i just soldered 
short piece that uh, I will then squeeze here against the metal. Uh, I will also put some Frinkos on top there. So the old connector didn't fit in here so I will have to solder on the connector that was included so I thought that I will show you how it looks inside this old one I didn't record when I did solder it uh, but yeah so the new spindle is finally alive it was not a pleasant job to solder the connector did have to uh, redo it one time until I was satisfied, but uh, now it seems to be uh, okay and it looks pretty good inside the connector. I have now bolted this piece of aluminium on router and this is the piece that the spindle holders will be bolted onto. And um, here we have the toolpath. I will have to make uh, uh, some pockets here, so I will use uh, 2D adapter for that. They will be 5mm deep and I will try to go full depth uh, from the beginning. We'll see how that goes. I am using a 6mm 2 flute uh, end mill. Uh, feed rate will be about 400 millimeters per minute and RPM speed of the spindle will be about 15 to 16,000. Uh, you can also see that I uh, have some holes here. I won't do that now. I will take them uh, after the pockets are done. So the plan for the holes is to use uh, circle up toolpath and uh, mill down to about uh, 5 millimeters of depth. depth. Uh, I think I will uh, change to a 4 millimeter uh, 2 fluter for the holes. And um, it will take too long time to go full depth, so um, going 5 millimeters in depth. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty okay because then I get some help uh, on where the holes uh, shall be placed as well as some steering uh, uh, to get a bit straighter when drilling. Uh, yeah, I am warming up the spindle now, so I will do that some more and then it's time to press run.
middle of route uh, the program took three hours and 45 minutes so uh, spindle approach I think it's okay for for what I needed. Right, so here we have the part that I made. It went pretty okay, except for this little thing here. I Windows Windows crashed for me, so I lost my zero, and I set my new zero using these uh, uh, edges here. But uh, my true zero was here in the middle between these four. So it was a mistake by me, but of course it wouldn't have happened if uh, Windows wouldn't have crashed. Anyways, this one is going to be like this. Some bigger room for adjustment. Uh, and these this pocket here will be for uh, some clearance for this one. So now it's just to keep on drilling the holes. I didn't drill all the way through with router since it most likely wouldn't end up good. So I only drilled the first part and I will drill the uh, rest, the remaining 15 millimeters. I had. Alright, so this is how it will look. I have drilled all the holes. It wasn't a pleasant job at all, but uh, now it's done. I also test mounted uh, the screws and uh, the holes here seem to line up perfect with the holes um, in the blocks so that's nice but yeah some countersinking here needs to be done so that the screw head won't stick up so that I can place these ones on top here all right that will be it for this week I'm very happy with uh, with how this turned out. Thank you for watching. One more thing, I also ordered a new phone. You can see some banding or interference from the LED, LED light in the roof. Uh, so hopefully I will get rid of that uh, with the new phone I bought. It's a Samsung uh, S10e that uh, should be able to film in 4k as well so might be some 4k videos coming in the future all right have a good week see you